Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. It's Vinny Designs here. And uh, in this tutorial, it's going to be a bit different. It's not going to be Photoshop. Um, it's it's going to be on a software called Affinity Designer. And this is a brand new software, which is still in beta. It actually went into beta just a day ago. So um, this beta is actually for PC users only. Um, the software is already available to purchase on a Mac. So if you're on a Mac, you should go and check out the software in the Mac store, the Apple store, whatever, and you can download it there for I think $49, $49 US, or you can download the free trial. Um, but if you're on a PC and you're using the beta, I'll show you how to get around the software. So if you used other softwares like Illustrator, Photoshop, um, or any other software, you'll, you'll probably be familiar with uh, the toolbar that's at the top, or the menu bar actually. So you have the file menu to save or to open a document saving, um, creating documents, uh, etc. You also have the edit menu for copy pasting and duplicating um, uh, text. You also have the text menu for your text characters, typography, the layer menu for arranging and um, also some grouping features. Um, select uh, For selecting and all that, you shouldn't really be using the menus. Anyways, uh, you have the shortcuts available for you. Um, the next one over is called view and you're probably going to be using this often. Um, you have the zooming features right here, the options for zooming in and out, um, rotating, transforming, showing guides, grids, uh, basically similar features to Adobe Illustrator. So guides, grid, rulers, I'm sure you're familiar with it. And for studio, what is what studio? Basically that's the, the windows that are available for the side panel. And that's called studio. This is basically um, this panel to the right is called the studio panel. And that's where you have your color swatches, uh, the different panels that you're going to be using often. So you have your layers panel effect styles, etc. And uh, so you can like add more panels if you want by going to view studio and adding all these available um, panels. Um, there are also other managers for guides, snapping, grids, etc. That's something I'll get into later. Um, the next menu over is the window. This one, this menu shows pretty much the open windows or documents that are open currently and the help menu. Um, the bar below it has some features that are, are pretty useful. So these options pretty much stay exactly the way they are unless you I think you change them manually. So on the left side, you have something called persona, and this is something new. Um, and the draw persona is basically vector drawing. So if you're using Illustrator, you know that vector based is pretty much how you create um, designs that are that are scalable easily without having to worry about the quality. And that's basically the draw persona. The next one over is called pixel persona, and that's similar to Photoshop. And so you have Photoshop like features uh, put into Des Affinity Designer and it's called pixel persona. You can do some raster pixel on um, pixel based editing in Affinity Designer. And uh, so it's great that you have both a, uh, both aspects of the software uh, vector based and pixel. And uh, the next one over is used for exporting. So you have a few tools. There's not a lot of tools on the left side, but on the right side, you have a lot of options. So you can export each individual layers or objects individually to a separate uh, file and to multiple documents as well. I'll try to get into that later into more detail in the feature. Um, right now, I'm just getting you through the interface. Let's go back to the draw persona and all these features are going to be available to you uh, always. So you have the view mode. So if you're on a retina display, you can change the retina uh, pixel drawing mode. And the next one over is the order. So you can like move an object to the back or to the front, similar to Illustrator. Um, the next, next one over is called transform. So this is where you can um, flip your objects or documents, um, rotate them as well. And over here, there's a drop down menu to arrange so this is your kind of like the character panel where you can like um, position your objects to the center or left align or right align. And uh, you also have a drop down menu for snapping. 
that these three buttons are are clickable so this one's forced pixel align the next one is moved by whole pixel and this one's snapping so you can go here and edit your snapping features and i love this feature because you have the ability to customize your snapping um, features the way you want and you can also um, set presets and uh, the next one over is called operations but basically think of it as the pathfinder tool in adobe illustrator so this is basically pathfinder and the next one over is called insert target and what this basically does is you can select any one one of these and the first one says insert behind the select selection so um basically if you were to select that and then try to create a object um selected let's say i select this object right here and then uh draw a rectangle it would create the rectangle behind that object i selected and this one would select or create an object in front of the object and this one inside an object so that's a uh, very good features that are available to you and at the bottom you have your document setup preferences and um, at the left side is basically the tool panel uh, or the toolbar so you have all your accessible tools for each uh, individual persona so on the draw persona you have things like um, pen tools um, creating vector based shapes and text uh, if you go to pixel persona you have different tools that are available based on vector or not vector uh, raster pixel based editing so you have your marquee tools um, selection tools brush uh, which you can paint uh, pixels with and some of the tools that are useful for uh, touching up photos uh, let's go back to the draw persona um, as I mentioned earlier, on the right side you have the studio panel and that's basically similar to the um, side panel that's available in Photoshop Illustrator where you have your layers, effects, tools um, such as swatches, strokes, brushes and you can access more of them, like I said before, through the view studio setting mode or the panel. So basically I just went through the basic uh, interface of the new software called Affinity Designer. Um, I'll go through more, uh, go through into more detail about each individual tool and um, features that are available in the software in the in later videos. So, if you want to stick around um, for future videos, subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this, if you learned something new, leave a like. Also, leave a comment if you want to see more um, tutorials on the software. So, um, I'm learning myself. So, I went through a tutorial, uh, which was a text-based tutorial, and I created this. Um, but if you want a video tutorial, I can use that guide to create a video based tutorial to create something like this for you guys. So if you guys want something like that, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time.